Howdy, Junior Conductors. I'm Conductor Carl, and welcome aboard the Storytime Express. You won't believe what I'm going to pick up on the train. I'll give you a clue. They're white and fluffy and say, bah. Do you know what it is? That's right. I'm picking up some sheep. Farmer Faith is going to start raising sheep at her farm. Oh, <laughs> looks like I've reached the station. I'll pick these sheep up and meet you at the farm. If you're ready for a great day, say choo-choo. <laughs> I just dropped all the sheep off at the farm. Did you know that you can call them sheep even if you have one or 21? <laughs> yep, you're not supposed to call them sheeps, just sheep. Do you know what we call the fluffy hair that sheep grow? It's called wool. Now, is wool soft or scratchy? Yeah, it's soft like a, a nice wool blanket. Pretend to rub a soft blanket on your nose. <laughs> you know, sheep actually like to get haircuts. Mm-hmm, and that's how the farmers get the wool. Have you ever gotten a haircut? <laughs> Use your, your fingers to make scissors and say, snip, 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 snip. <laughs> you know, sheep aren't very good at taking care of themselves. A shepherd is they're like the leader of the sheep. He or she will bring the sheep to safe places with plenty of food to eat and, and water to drink. Wow, without a shepherd, sheep might just walk right into a hole. Yeah, leaders are important for sheep and for people. <laughs> oh. oh, lead the way, Matilda. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's march like we're in an army. Ready? Junior conductors, did you see who Mia was talking to? I didn't either. I wonder who she was following though. Hmm. You know, maybe we should follow her and see what happens. I am marching. Don't you hear my feet? Mia, who are you talking to? <laughs> Matilda. That, oh yeah. <laughs> That's Engineer Kelly. Mm -hmm. Wait, but where's Matilda? Right here, silly. <laughs> Junior conductors, did you see anyone? <laughs> Me neither. Well, you can't see her because she's on the phone. Matilda is my friend who moved away. Oh, I, I thought Matilda was an imaginary friend. You know, I had an invisible friend that was a turtle when I was your age. A turtle? <laughs> That's really silly. Oh, hey, did you see my costume? Oh, I'm so excited. I get to play a sheep at the school play. Oh, how fun. You know, I'll have to come and watch, but first I need to move some boxes for conductor Carl. I'll, um, I'll be right back. What's that, Matilda? Oh, yes. Engineer Kelly is moving boxes right now. You, you think I should do that? Really? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh no! What happened? Oh, I, I think I tripped. Oh. Mia? Do you know why Engineer Kelly tripped? Shh. What's that, Junior Conductors? Did you see what happened? Shh. Don't tell Conductor Carl. Ow. I think I hurt my ankle. 
Oh, it wasn't me. It was Matilda's fault. She had the idea. Oh, I have to go. Oh, Matilda says we need to get a smoothie. Yeah. Who's Matilda? Oh, she's Mia's friend. But I didn't see her. Oh, I see. She was talking to her on the phone. You know, I think I better go find Mia and talk to her about her choices. Well, well, after I help Engineer Kelly, you know what? While I help her, why don't you go to the music store without us and then I'll catch up with you soon, okay? Come on, let's see if we can get you some help. Hey, Junior Conductors. Welcome to the music store. I'm so excited to sing today's big point with you. If you're ready to sing, bring your hand up to your ear. Great job! Let's sing that one more time. Bring your hand up to your ear. The Lord is my shepherd. Great job singing. I'll see you later. Matilda, this is Miss Megan. She has the best smoothies in the train station. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Mia, but where is Matilda? Well, Miss Megan, you hurt Matilda's feelings. Oh. She's right here. Oh, is, is your friend talking to you on the phone? That's fine. I have friends I talk to that live far away. Ooh. Junior conductors, let's pretend to talk to somebody on a phone. Can you hold your phone up to your ear? Talk to them. It's so good to see them. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, okay. Well, Matilda would like a strawberry, pineapple, and banana smoothie. Mm -hmm. That's funny because I think that's your favorite smoothie too. How is she going to drink it over the phone? <laughs> well, I guess we like the same things. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go ahead and make that too. This sheep is thirsty. Oh, and don't worry, Matilda. I'll put yours in the mailbox. Mm -hmm. oh. oh no. Matilda, we left our money at home. What should we do? Matilda, we can't. Stealing is wrong. No, I'm not a baby. Oh, okay. Well, maybe just taking one smoothie would be okay. Okay. Oh. Are, are, are you okay? Oh, yeah. Just waiting for my smoothies. Okay. Uh, junior conductors, did you see anything strange? Shh, don't tell her. I don't want Matilda to be mad. Here you go, Mia. Mia? Oh, well, that's, that's who I was looking for. Yeah, and you know, one of my smoothies is missing. What happened to it, junior conductors? <gasps> Mia took it? That's strange. She doesn't normally act like that. I think she's not following the right leader. Oh. You know what? Let me see if I can find her. Okay. Hmm. Mia! Mia! Don't tell Conductor Carl where I am. I don't want him to be mad at me. Junior Conductors, do you see Mia? Where? She's over there? Okay. Mia, come on, can you come out here? Are you mad at me, Conductor Carl? Well, I am disappointed in you. You've been making some wrong choices today. But it was Matilda. She's the one who told me what to do. 
Well, that means you're listening to the wrong leader. You know, our leader is Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's the person who guides us. And Jesus, he only leads us to good things. You know, he's our shepherd. <sighs> Conductor Carl, I'm not a real sheep. I'm just in a play. We're not sheep, but just like sheep need a shepherd to lead them, we need Jesus to help us know what to do. Listen to this verse, it's from Psalm 23, dot, dot, one. And it says, the Lord is my shepherd. He guides me in the right paths. Matilda isn't helping me do the right things at all. Do you think that I should stop listening to Matilda? I think you shouldn't listen to anyone who says the opposite of what Jesus says. Hmm. Conductor Carl, I'm so sorry. This sounds like I need to make better choices. Maybe I should listen to our big point again. That's a good idea. Hey, junior conductors. Welcome to the music store. I'm so excited to sing today's big point with you. If you're ready to sing, bring your hand up to your ear. Great job! Let's sing that one more time. Bring your hand up to your ear. The Lord is my shepherd. Great job singing. I'll see you later. Junior conductors, our big point says the Lord is my shepherd. We learn that truth in Psalm 23. The book of Psalms is like a book of songs. King David wrote lots of these songs. When he was young, David watched over sheep. He knew all about how important it was for the shepherd to guide the sheep to green grass and calm waters. David knew that God he does that for us too. God guided a large group of people in the Bible on a long trip. They were the Israelites and they had been slaves in a country called Egypt. Oof, those Egyptians, they were not nice. And God wanted to take the Israelites to a special country he had promised to give them. God rescued the Israelites. Let's all shout, yay! God put a man named Moses in charge of leading the Israelites. Ooh, let's all stand up and march away with Moses. Everybody march with me. Left, right, left, there you go. Good job. Well, I'm sure they were so happy to leave Egypt. But then the Egyptian army started chasing them. Let's make a scared face. <gasps> Everyone, run now, run in place, run faster. Oh, run, oh no, everybody say stop. We can't run any farther, there's a big giant sea of water in front of us. Everybody make waves with your arms. Oh boy, we better sit down on our pockets and think. Go ahead and have a seat. Mm. Some of the Israelites wondered if God had guided them to bad things, but what do you think? Oh, of course not. Well, God told Moses to stretch his staff out over the water. Can you pretend to hold a stick with me? And stretch it out. Guess what? The water split into two giant walls. Touch your hands together and then spread them apart quickly and say whoosh. The Israelites walked through the walls of water. What color fish do you see swimming on the walls? Yeah, 
Ooh, they're pretty. Well, the Israelites, they made it across safely. The Egyptian army, oh, they tried to cross and capture them, but the water came crashing down. You know, God guided the Israelites away from something bad and towards something good. Even when a big sea got in the way, it didn't stop God. He's more powerful than anything. You can trust God to always be your good guide. Remember, the Lord is my shepherd. <laughs> Junior conductors, can you say bah? <laughs> <laughs> Why you all sound like sheep? <laughs> yep. I'm a sheep and Jesus is my shepherd. Mm -hmm. I decided to follow Jesus and do what he wants me to do. <laughs> that sounds like a much better choice than listening to Matilda. <sighs> I'm sorry for taking the smoothie. I came back to give you my money. <laughs> Thank you, Mia. You are following the right leader now. Yep, and I'm gonna give this car to Engineer Kelly. Oh, Junior Conductors, can you read it with me? It says, get well soon. I think she's gonna love it. <sighs> Thanks for helping me follow the right leaders. I don't like making the wrong choices. Yep, you know, Jesus will only guide us towards good things. Yeah, that's why we should listen closely to what the Bible says. Oh, Conductor Carl, can you help me take this car to Engineer Kelly? I will, sure. Hey, Junior Conductors. Welcome to the music store. I'm so excited to sing today's big point with you. If you're ready to sing, bring your hand up to your ear. Great job! Let's sing that one more time. Bring your hand up to your ear. The Lord is my shepherd. Great job singing. I'll see you later. Mia is making better choices now that she's following the right leader. God guides us away from bad things and helps us to find good things. You can follow Jesus too. Just listen and obey what Jesus says in the Bible. And if someone tells you to make an unwise choice, don't listen. And you can tell your family how God guides us when you do this week's big do. Make an obstacle course in, in your living room or, or even a big one in your backyard. And then you're gonna blindfold someone in your family. You know, like put a piece of cloth over their eyes so they can't see. And you're gonna guide them through the obstacle course just by telling them where to go with your mouth. <laughs> It'll be lots of fun. See if you can help them get all the way through the course. 